Hello. Hello, how can I help you? Yes, please give me 10 kilograms sugar, 2 kilograms salt and 1 kilogram beans. Sure sir. Anything more? Yes, please also give half a kg rice. Here is your order and bill, sir. Oh my god. So much money? Have you overcharged to me? No sir, not at all. We do not overcharge a penny. The bill is original. I bought the same thing last month and the bill was 100 rupees less than this bill. The prices of everything has risen, sir. Sugar has got 5 rupees high per kilogram. And so is the matter with cooking oil. So, why have you not displayed a notice board about new prices? It is still with the printing press. I ordered it five days ago. They told me to deliver in two days. But they are still telling that I would get it in the evening. Oh! That is incredible! Why prices have risen suddenly so high? It is due to the rise in the price of fuel and transportation charges. Oh! I see. This is totally unfair. A poor person is already making both ends meet and then this inflation. How would a poor man manage to get everyday acidities of life? What do you think what are the causes of inflation? It is caused by a combination of factors, including increased money supply, a shortage of goods and services, increased production costs, and currency devaluation. How can inflation be stopped? This can be done by controlling interest rates, reducing the circulation of currency, and adjusting the reserve requirements for banks. Exactly, this can also be done by limiting the availability of money. 14. The government can prevent excessive spending and decreased demand for goods and services, leading to a decrease in prices. You are right. Government should take serious actions on it. Government is going to pass budget in next week and chances are that it will lead to increase in inflation. Exactly, it's too much time now. Here is your payment. Thanks. Thanks and goodbye. Goodbye.